What's going on YouTube family? This is your man Pristine, back with another video. Welcome to the full Pristine review for the Moto Z4. Let's dive right in. Now first off, price, specs. This phone is $499 for retail, both unlocked and at Verizon. It's a Verizon exclusive. Okay, now when I picked up this phone from Verizon, which was the launch date, there was a deal that Verizon had that was if you buy the phone and put it on installment plans, they Verizon over a 24 month time span will pay the monthly cost for the phone, which means that you only end up paying $240 for the device. So I'm not sure if that promotion is still going on, but that is a hell of a deal. And that's the deal that I was able to take advantage of. Now, me personally, I think that this phone is worth the four, the full four ninety nine price tag, five hundred dollars plus whatever the taxes are, just because for one, it's a good phone. It's a good standalone phone by itself, and for two, with the addition of the Moto mods, you're able to take this phone to heights and levels that no other phone can go. And so, to get everything that this phone is packing, just as a phone itself. And then also throw in the Moto Mod capabilities, throw in the fact that this phone is 5G upgradable through a Moto Mod. Even though we don't have 5G here in, the, in, in, in Seattle, Washington, other areas where 5G has been released, people are able to take advantage of 5G for the cheapest amount of money possible. They pay for their Z4. I think the 5G Moto Mod is like a couple of hundred bucks and Verizon also had a promotion going on for that as well. And... That's going to be your ticket to take advantage of 5G uh, data speeds uh, uh, at an at a, at a, at a extremely low cost compared to what 5G phones are being sold for. Okay? I mean, if you look at the, the, the Galaxy S10 Plus 5G, that joint's like 1200 The new LG G5, which is, I think, at the, at the moment, is a Verizon exclusive. The G, the, uh, I'm sorry, not the G5. The... Um, the LG V50. The LG V50 is also a 5G device. Um, and I believe it's exclusive at Verizon right now because I know that Verizon has it right now, but no other carrier seems to have the, the, the LG V50. But I know that Verizon, they've got a 5G version of the V50. That phone's $1,000. Okay, so you're paying, you know, $499, you know, for your Moto Z4. You know, if you have to pay full retail for it, and then another couple of hundred bucks for your 5G Moto Mod, not bad. And then like me, if you got it for the promotion, you're paying 240, and uh, and for the 5G Moto Mod, you're paying under 500 bucks for 5G capabilities. You see what I'm saying? I mean, so there's there's benefits and perks, you know what I mean, to getting things through a carrier, especially when they're putting on promotions and stuff like that. Now that's just pricing. Now the specifications that we've got. We've got a 6.4 inch OLED display, 1080 by 2340 pixels, 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio, uh, Gorilla Glass 3 on the front and the back of this bad boy. All right, we've got a Snapdragon 675 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of onboard storage that can be expanded up to 1 terabyte. We've got an Adreno 612 GPU, Android 9 Pi, and an Octa Core CPU. And I mean, with the exception of a few little moto applications that motorola had to put on this phone this is pretty much a stock android experience i mean so all of you stock android enthusiasts that just wants a really clean android experience but you don't necessarily want a pixel which is android in its most purest form then you know the z4 here you can't, you can't go wrong with the z4 you know what i mean if you're just looking for a stock android experience because there's not a whole lot that comes on this phone with the exception of like maybe it, it wasn't a lot of bloatware i'll just put it that way it was not a lot of bloatware on this phone at all when i took it out of the box all right now the build quality as i mentioned corny gorilla glass three on the front and the back of this device um i've got the case on the phone but the the device it's it's like it's it, it feels like a brushed aluminum on the back of the device like it feels really good. It does not smudge with fingerprints at all whatsoever. And I like that. Very premium feel in the hand. Um, as you can see, I mean, we've got the little uh, the little uh, 
information pins right there so that whenever you connect the moto mod to it then that's how information is transferred from the phone to the moto mod or from the moto mod to the phone rather um to provide you with whatever the functions that that moto mod uh, uh you know has for the phone and so the phone is very thin um it it, it does kind of have it has a little bit of weight to it i mean you definitely know that you're holding something in your hand um i know that people have kind of slammed moto for going the mid-range route because the Z series used to be a flagship and it, ha it would have all the flagship uh, specifications, but not with the Z4. And I'm, I'm, you know, I don't have a problem with that at all whatsoever because the Snapdragon 675 is a really, really, really good SOC chip. It's very battery efficient. Again, we've got a 3600 milliamp hour battery here. And so, you know, bigger battery. Uh, 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 you know, well efficient, uh, power efficient processor that is snappy, going to get the job done. I mean, as you can see, not no lag at all whatsoever. Very responsive. Now, we don't have like that 90 hertz refresh rate that we've seen on the OnePlus 7 Pro. But nonetheless, I mean, everything is nice and fluid, nice and responsive. Here's my Google Now feed, which I get a lot of information on. Yeah, I mean, the performance, stellar. Just click into my Bible app, connect it to my Wi-Fi. So also be mindful that, you know, your 4G LTE data speeds are going to be different from a Wi-Fi connection. Um, so let's see here. Let's pop over to Spotify. And I always just open up some of the most content-heavy applications. You know what I mean? Just to show you just how good, oh, pardon me this phone is and how snappy it is. So we'll go to SoundCloud really quickly. A lot of music files. Okay, let's go shopping. Let's go to Best Buy. Okay, did that. Let's go to Amazon real quick. Phone is nice and snappy. And we'll go to our recents. Okay, RAM management is on point as it ought to be. Flat right back into Spotify. Okay. Right back into Amazon. Right back into Best Buy. No reloading times. Right back into my Bible app. Okay, you guys get the you guys get the hint. Okay. The phone is a performance beast. It performs very, very well very well all right now um the cameras again i like what motorola did with the cameras here they went with a single 48 megapixel rear sensor and a 25 megapixel selfie sensor with all the bells and whistles you guys seen the video that i put out you know pairing this campaign this this camera against the pixel 3a and um you know, and that 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 video is still doing numbers. <laughs> you know, and I think a lot of people are shocked by what they're seeing. They didn't expect the Motorola device to be able to compete with the likes of a Pixel camera, but in fact, it is. And like in, in my personal opinion, I think that the camera here on the Moto Z4 is the better overall camera. In my personal opinion, okay. So the camera performance is stellar on this device. Um, it, it's definitely. You know, one of one of the top cameras that you can get on a mid-range device. I think this is probably the best camera that you can get your hands on on a mid-range device right now, man. The camera, the camera here is that good. All right, stay tuned for the dedicated camera review. I'll also drop a link in the description for the Z4 camera versus the Pixel 3a camera. So if you have not seen that video, be sure to go in the description and click on that link and check out that video and get down in the comments and let me know what you guys think about what you saw. All right, now battery life. As I mentioned, 3,600 milliamp hour battery. Man, I've had absolutely no problems at all with the battery. And again, another one of the main reasons why is the Snapdragon 675 processor. It's a very power efficient chip. You know what I mean? It's going to it's gonna run and function, you know, and, and maintain your device the way that you need it to be able to give you that battery sustainability to help you get through a full day. Um, I was very easily able to get through a full day and some. So for me, on one charge, based on how I use my device, which is light to moderate use, I'm, I'm pulling down a day and a half, 
two days on a single charge. No lie. Screen on time, it's like I don't get into all that, man, because that differs based on how you use your phone. But I mean, for me, on one charge with the 675 processor and a 3600 milliamp hour battery, I'm pulling down two days easily because of how I use my device. And this phone may not be battery, battery uh, it may not be wireless charge compatible in the state in which it's in right now. But if you get that wireless, you know, there's a few different battery packs that you can click to the back of this thing and you can set it on a wireless charger and it will wirelessly charge your device. So, you know, again, I mean, just the, the, the those Moto Mods, they take this phone to a whole nother level. And I understand the argument some people are making. Oh, well, you know, you, you got it's one thing to buy the phone, but then you got to, you know, you got to shut out more money, you know, to buy the accessories. Look, I get it. But it's like the, the mods, they're not as expensive as they once were. You know what I mean? That projector mod, you know, the one that you can click to the back of this phone and you can project images or whatever the content that you're watching up to 70 inches on a wall that used to be $299. That pro I just saw that projector mod on Amazon like three days ago for $89.99. Or maybe it was $79.99. So you can get that projector mod for 80 bucks now. And that was one of the top, that was one of the top mods that you could have gotten your hands on. And there's so many of them. Like I said, there's like two or three different battery mods that you can get. Um, there's the InstaShare photo mod where it's like you click the mod to the phone and whenever you take a picture, it just prints it out just like an old school Polaroid and you can share it with all your buddies if that's what you want to do. You got the game pod or game pad mod so that if you're gaming on your phone, then Man, rather than using the fugazi little thumb controls and touching and smudging up your screen, you got an actual control pad that has real life buttons and thumbsticks for you to use to enhance your gaming experience. You can get the Hasselblad camera. You got two JBL speaker mods. Um, you know, the projector mod. I mean, man, you got, a, you got a lot of different things, man. I mean, style mods. If you just want to add a little bit of style to your device and just, you know, put a, put a nice little back on it to kind of customize it more so to your liking. I mean, you could do that. I mean, so there's a lot of different things that you can do with this type of modularity functionality. And the fact is, I got I to gotta tip the hat to Motorola for just finding a way to keep in the, the, the modularity aspect going because a lot of phones have made attempts and they crashed and burned. They didn't make it. You know what I mean? But Motorola still is was able to sustain and keep it going and it's still doing relatively well. It's still a lucrative business for them. You know what I mean? So, you know, kudos to Motorola. I mean, just for making, you know, really solid phones and then just having the additions of the Moto Mods to enhance the experience. Um, and so, you know, I mean, as far as the additional features, I mean, again, I mean, this is pretty much a stock Android, you know, experience. But some of the things that I love the most, that I absolutely love the most, is that twist your wrist to open up the camera. And look at that, that image is just so clean, my goodness. Okay, if you want to take a selfie, flick your wrist again, to get to that 25 megapixel sensor, man, Lord have mercy. Look, oh man, this camera is just so dope. <laughs> this camera is so cold. And then when you're moving around, if you want to access your flashlight really quickly, you just chop the phone twice, that turns on that really bright LED, chop the phone again, and it turns it off. I mean, th those are some really, really nice, handy little features to not have to go into the software to turn those things on or even, you know, pop down from the quick, to the quick toggle menu and pop those things on. I mean, just a couple flicks of the wrist or a couple chopping actions. Man, it's extremely convenient, man. And I mean, if you've never had it before, then I don't expect you to quite understand. But I mean, if you've used it before, very, very, very handy. So I like the gestures, the Moto Mod enhancements and what they bring to the table and how they're able to take the phone to new heights. The Moto Z4, ladies and gentlemen, is an absolute go in my personal opinion. I don't care what nobody says. Get the phone in your hand and try it out for yourself. You know what I mean? Don't even take my word for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just get the phone in your hand. If it's something that you're interested in, get it in your hand. They got it on display down at your local Best Buy or, uh, you know, if you want to buy the unlocked variant 
or you can get it at Amazon, uh, Amazon, Verizon. It's a Verizon exclusive. Verizon has it on display. Beautiful device, very well constructed, um, performs really well. It's got all the bells and whistles and functions that you're going to need. Very power efficient, powerful mid-range processor that is very snappy. It's going to, you know, enable the phone to perform the way you need it to and do what you need to do in a hurry. And then you got those moto mods and the gestures. What more can you want in the phone? You're not breaking the bank. You're getting top quality performance, top quality features, functions, cameras. This is what I'm talking about, Moto. Moto hit the nail on the head with the Z4 here, in my personal opinion. That's all I got, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed the full pristine review for the Moto Z4. If you did, hit that like button. Be sure to share and subscribe to the channel to expose yourself to tons of more videos that I've done like this one. And keep it locked at Pristine Mobile Tech because I've got so much more content to come. Be sure to hit that notification bell so that every time my videos go live, you can get notified. And check the content out. Get down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about what you saw. Hit me with any questions, comments, or feedback. And that's where I'll be responding to your questions, comments, or feedback down below in the comment section. All right? So thanks for tuning in. Much love to all of my subscribers. And you already know, man. Keep it safe in 2019. Get spiritually fit because we're definitely living in the last days. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. This is the Moto Z4 Full Pristine Review. I'm your man Pristine, the host, bringing the content. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.